Beer Reviews, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name's Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, it's more pizza beer. We're drinking pizza beer. It's cold pizza. Ooh. Yeah. I love okay. cold pizza. Do you cold like pizza? Pizza's good. Uh, I, I think the, the quality of a good pizzeria sometimes lies in how good their pizza is cold as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think so. Do you, Do think, you so? think so? Uh, anyway, anyway, where is this cold pizza from? <laughs> uh, a tavern of some sort, Dan? <laughs> it may be a rendition of a tavern-style pizza beer. Uh, oh. this, so this is uh, cold pizza, and this is from Hot Butcher for the World out of Chicago, Illinois. Canned on date 1-11-23. Ooh, fairly So fresh. we are less than a month old. It says, Happy B-Day, Jude. Um, Ooh, Jude. Jude. Happy birthday. Belated birthday. But yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Citra Vic Secret hopped cold India Pale Ale. Sexy. What makes cold IPA? Uh, I believe they use, like, lager yeast and okay. ferment it like a lager. All right. So it's supposed uh, to be chilly. <laughs> this is 6% ABV, and this was a taproom exclusive for the new uh, taproom, the new digs that Hot Butcher has. They had... Uh, Renovated the old half acre yes. uh, spot. Uh, it looks awesome. Yes. I hope to go there sometime. Dude, okay, we so, gotta make a field trip. So the uh, tavern cut is Citra and Vic Secret. Uh, I believe this is the cold IPA version of that New England double. Right, right, oh, right, right. And this uh, is what six percent. Yeah, you said okay. Yeah. All right. uh, the other thing funny about this beer is we had this beer, but not on an official status. Uh, so <laughs> if many of you uh, are repeat viewers of ours, and even if you aren't. Uh, just go ahead and check out our unboxing of our most recent hot butcher package. Mike got a little happy with a jackknife, and beer may have, may or may have not went flying amongst our uh, our setup here, and uh, more importantly, all over me. And it happened to be uh, a lost cold pizza, which we then had to chug because it was spewing beer all over. It's a good time. Yeah. So now let's uh, officially give this beer a go. <laughs> um... Hey, it looks just like it did when it was flying all over the room. Uh, Let me hold this hashtag proper glassware here. Oh, yeah. You got to love it. Uh, so, if you don't have some hot butcher glassware, look at that. get on the it's website just... and get yourself some. It Bubbles, champagne. It's a, it's a very orangey golden color with just a thin film of a head. It, it looks like a, a beer. It looks like a beer I would want at a pizza parlor. Like, if you were to bring a picture of this out with my buffalo-style cup of char pepperoni pizza, that's what I would want. Yeah, it's, I mean, the head is... It dissipates pretty quick, but... Make it swirl it back I don't up. No, it, it dissipates rather quick. Yeah, but I'm okay with it. It, it looks like that's what it's supposed to do. It's, yeah, it's, I'm okay with it. Uh, uh, sure. Oh, man. That is a... <laughs> it's a bright, weedy orange citrus Kool-Aid. Get a bit, a bit of berry. Yeah, there is a bit of berry in there too. There, it's it's like a mosaic kind of berry <laughs> flavor. A, a little bit, yeah. It's it's a it's it's vinous. It's very it's very herbaceous and vinous. Yeah. You're right. I really it, like it. it, a lot. it it's a it's a green kind of funky kind of thing going on. It's, it, Again, it, it it smells like Keef. It smells like Keef. Keef. Oh, <laughs> I was like, does Keef smell like so, it over ninety three like lumber? If you have a smell that. like a grinder. Oh, okay. And, you, and you, you, like you're grinding uh, marijuana. Okay. And over time, there's a bottom reservoir with the Keef. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. It smells so crisp. It smells very tropical. There, there's this tropical yeah. citra a aspect to it. Like I, I would say more so like a like a, a bright kind of passion fruit and pineapple. Okay. Rather than orange or citrus. I, I think the the common theme in all of the things we're smelling is that it's bright. Yeah, it's like it's, it's a very sunshine. It is. Bright. It brings sunshine to this, this winter cold, water. <laughs> dreary review. I love the yeah, let's, let's hop in. Let's dive in. Thank you, Hop Butcher. Cheers. I butchered that other can. You did. Mm. Oh, man. You know, just like I, re I remember that day, that fateful day. Uh, <laughs> this 
it, it, it's a crisp clean. It's drying on the back end, but it's uh, it's got a moderate bitterness to it. It is, man. There, there's a really nice hop resinous aspect just kind of hanging around the back. I will say this. The, the nose smells a lot fruitier, I think, than the beer actually tastes. It becomes more earthy on the flavor, but it's... Well, I'm not mad at it. Man, I enjoy it. I, I, I do wish there was a, a slight bit more bump in the tropicals. Okay. I wish I wish I got some of that more of the nose. Because the nose sort of come off like a tropical uh, Jolly Rancher a little bit. Mm. Okay. I love the the bright kind of it's not overly candy, but it's a sweet or it's a it's almost sumo-esque, Dan. Sumo mandarins. There, if you haven't something. had a sumo, or, and Dan has had many of them, they are the IPA oranges. Uh, it's with that green herbaceous backbone on it. Like I, I really like the way it blends with like the bright citrus, tropical mm -hmm. orange flavors in there. I, this is delicious. I'm a big fan of like the cold IPAs and like the mm. IPLs and all that stuff. Uh, it's not a style you see very often, but when you do see it, it's fun to try. Uh, uh, it, it tastes like it's got a Kool-Aid flavor to it. Uh, orange zest. Sure. Dried mango. Well, I mean, it, it is drying on the back, so I mean, you're getting some dried. Juicy pineapple. <sighs> There's your tropical. Yeah, the yeah. mango, pineapple, you know. Um, for those of you that don't know what a hoppager beer is, on the back of every can, they put uh, tasting notes right there. And we like to turn them, well, not look at them until the end to see if yeah, you don't want to cheat. Sometimes they're hard to read, though. Is that, did they at least print that in yellow against the blue, so? Yeah, then it's a little better. Um, I really like this. Well, what do you rate it? I give it a four one. Okay, I'm a bit high. I'm gonna give it like a four four five. It's really good. What what brings it up there for you? I think I really like the, like I said before, I really like that the blend of herbaceous and bright citrus, mm -hmm. where it's the herbaceousness is just a touch more. Than the citrus is, okay, but it almost it almost drinks like West Coasty, and I think that's what's really doing it for me. Okay, you get a little bit. If it had some more pine, like there's still that resinous note, but it's not overly piney like maybe a West Coast would be. So it's just I think it's so easily drinkable. I think it's very refreshing. Uh, it's really good. Okay. I like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, I four one just because, like I said, I, it's really I wanted some more of that tropical nose to kind of come through. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's there. I, I feel like this is a really good beer, but I just I don't know just want a little bit more. You know, okay, that's okay, that's fair, that's fair. That's fair. Um, man, if I could have this with like a. Piece of pizza? Dude, the whole time I'm thinking about, man, can you imagine just like a, a nice garlic buttered crust? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, there's some, some herbs all over. The oh. mm. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, uh, down in the description below, FLX Beer Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. My untapped. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Uh, come be a friend. Come chat. Sure. Uh, hey, uh, do, have you been in the tap room? Have you had this one or did you get a can of it? Um, Tell yeah. us about it, please. Hot Butcher, thank you so thank much you so for much. Uh, the I'm beverage. so glad we got to try this beer. In yeah, a, I'm so uh, glad Mike's jackknife did not uh, pierce this one as well. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Cheers.